The Fierce Little Woman and the Wicked Pirate by Joy Cowley. The Fierce Little Woman and the Wicked Pirate. The fierce little woman lived in a house at the end of a jetty. She knitted socks in blue and green wool to sell to sailors who had got their feet wet. But then when there were no ships at her jetty, she was quite alone. Sometimes the little woman walked up and down the jetty, playing her bagpipes to the seagulls. I'm not sure what they would have thought of that. Inside her house there was a trapdoor. What is she doing? She's swimming. Why? Which, which opened to the sea below. And some of the fierce little woman climbed down through the trapdoor to swim under the jetty. Because she wants to have fun swimming. Mm -hmm. In winter, she sat in the armchair beside the fire with a fishing line down the hole. At night she lay in bed and listened to the sea, breathing in and out under the floor. One stormy day, a pirate came to the jetty. What's on there? That's his sh shadow. Yes. He stood on his toes and started tap tapping on the window. The little woman was knitting fiercely in her armchair. It's only the wind, she said. The what pirate went on tap tap tapping. What are those? They're knitting needles. The, pi the pirate went on tap, tap, tapping at the window. The woman put her head on one side and listened. That's not the wind, she said. She looked at the window and called. Who's there? A voice whispered, I'm a wicked pirate, let me in. No, she said. I'm a fierce little woman and you can't come in. Go away if you know what's good for you. I'll break the window, said the pirate. You do and I'll whack you with my knitting needles, said the fierce little woman. The pirate didn't answer. A whole hour went by. Then there came a knock, knock, knocking at the door. A voice cried, Let me in! I told you to go away, called the fierce little woman. Open the door or I'll push it down, said the wicked pirate. You just try it, said the woman, and I'll hit you on the head with me bagpipes. The pirate stopped knocking and two hours passed. The little, little woman listened. She could hear a faint scratch, scratch, scratching under the floor. Let me in, said the voice. Never, she said. Raise that trap door, said the pirate. If you, if you don't, I'll force it open. And you know what I'll do, said the fierce little woman. I'll tie you up with my fishing line and throw you into the sea. You wouldn't, said the pirate. Oh, yes, I would, said the fierce little woman. Mm. What is that about? She won't let him in. The pirate was quiet for a moment. Please let me in. My ship has gone without me, and I've got no home. I'm hungry, I've got wet feet. Worst of all, it's getting dark. No, she shouted. Oh, please, I beg you, he said. I'm very scared of the dark. <laughs> the little woman put down her knitting very slowly. She opened the trap door, and the pirate came through dripping seawater onto the carpet. Is she happy? Mm, she's suspicious. Is she happy now? Getting closer. She made him put his wet boots on the f in front of the fire. Then she gave him a new pair of blue and green socks. I didn't know a wicked pirate could be so scared of the dark. She said, she's softening. The what pirate... is he doing? What is he doing? He's, given it, he's got a big cheesy smile on his face. The pirate wriggled his toes in the warm socks. And is he hap and she's happy? Not yet. I didn't know a fierce little woman could knit so fine, he said, or live in such a cozy house. Tell me, my fierce little woman, would you consider being my is, wife? Is she happy? Well, it's this look that does it, right there. See? They spend a lot of time on that picture. It's the smouldering look. Is she happy? She's thinking, hmm, 
Don't talk such nonsense, said the little woman. But for the first time in her life, she smiled. So the what pirate and the doing? so the pirate and the little woman were married. They live in a house on the jetty, and now they have three children who are never fierce and only sometimes wicked. Now she's happy. Yeah, she's happy. And summer they all climb through the trapdoor to swim in the sea. In winter they sit by the fire with fishing lines down the hole, just like she did by herself. At night they listen to the sea breathing in and out under the floor, and once in a while... Are they the daddy? The little woman plays the bagpipes. Is he the daddy? A lullaby on her bagpipes. Is he her, is he her daddy? So they won't be scared of the dark. Yep, there's daddy. He's cuddling with the kids. Just like that. What are they doing? She's just playing a song. She's remembering the olden days. Oh, look, they're all playing. And they've made some additions. Without the daddy? <laughs> Everything without the daddy? No, he's right there. Where is he? He's being a pirate again. <laughs>